have verified the patient's identity using at least two identifiers, such as first name, last name, and date of birth, place your patient in a supine position with their arms above their head. For your patient's comfort, you can place a pillow or an inclined plane under their head. You could also place a leg elevation pillow under their legs. Align the laser light to the jugular notch of the manubrium using the internal axial laser light. Make sure that the lateral laser light is set at the mid-axillary line of the chest and that the longitudinal laser light is placed on the median sagittal plane. Remember to close the doors of the examination room in accordance with radiation protection rules and perform proper hand hygiene. Select your patient from the work list, then click Patient Selection. Verify that the pre-filled information is correct. Fill in your patient's weight and height. Finally, choose the appropriate protocol. Check that your patient's position on the table matches with the one indicated. Here, the patient's orientation is feet first. After verifying the scan parameters, click Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and launch the acquisition when the buttons flash. Repeat to obtain a lateral view. Click on Next Series. Place your slices box in such a way as to cover the chest from the lung apices to the costophrenic angles on the AP scalp view. In addition, check the alignment of the box positioning and place it mid thickness of your patient. Check the consistency of the acquisition parameters, which are often pre-configured. Before continuing, check that the predicted dose is consistent with the diagnostic guideline values. Check the reconstruction boxes. For the acquisition of a chest scan, you will need at least a reconstruction with a smooth filter for the study of the organs and a reconstruction with a sharper filter for the study of the pulmonary parenchyma. A reconstruction with a sharper filter for a bone study may be requested as part of the exploration of a thoracic trauma or other types of pathology. In patients with difficulty holding their breath, you can try reversing the direction of acquisition in order to start with the costophrenic angles and end at the pulmonary apex. Now click Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and begin the scan when the buttons flash. Check for the absence of breathing or motion of the patient on the acquisition. After clicking End Exam, you can perform multi-planner reconstructions according to the radiologist's request. At the end of the examination, accompany the patient back to the changing room and tell them they can get dressed. Provide the patient with any post-exam instructions for department protocol. Thanks for watching. For more great clinical content and special offers on CE credits, follow us on socials.